And welcome back to Good Things Utah. They've revolutionized the soft serve cone and pitched their idea to the sharks on Shark Tank. That was over the weekend. Jeremy and Caitlin Carlson, owners of Crispy Cones, are on the show now to share their experience. Welcome, you two. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Having. Okay, so this has been a journey. This idea started in yes. a tent. Five years ago. Yes, on the side of the road, canopy tent on the side of the road, yeah. In Rexburg, Idaho. In Rexburg, yep. Idaho. It's and you're monster. you're like, you know, saying I want to do something different with a cone. What yes. was the idea? Yes, so I went on my mission in the Czech Republic and I was inspired by this idea and I wanted to revolutionize it, Americanize it a little bit, make it our own. And so I, I worked on the recipe in my aunt's kitchen and then I'd go to school in the day and then the nights I'd work on the recipe and then we open in a canopy tent. So wait, Jeremy, this is like a cone. Yes, cinnamon but sugar cone and different. a cookie cone. What's different about it? Um, <laughs> a lot of things are different. The recipe is totally different than what other people make. The cone itself is vegan, um, but we make it fresh to order when people come into our stores. So they see the process, the full experience. And then on the inside is a spread like cookie butter or Nutella, and then filled with gourmet soft serve ice cream that we rotate every single week. It's not oh. your typical like sugar cone, waffle cone. Yeah. It's like our own take, revolutionizing the soft serve cone. Is it donut like? It's it not. It feels like a donut. It's not fried. <laughs> it's it's not just fried. grilled on our grill, yeah. and we make them fresh every single day. Okay, yeah. so Caitlin, when did you become a part of the process? So I joined Crispy Cones in 2019 officially. Jeremy hired me as his social media marketer. Um, and we just became best friends through that. And, and he said, working. wait a second. Yes. I'd like you to be more <laughs> yes. than my marketer. And so then I yeah. married my boss. <laughs> so yeah. It's worked funny. out so far so good. Yes. Yeah, we have a baby on the way now. So that's so fun. Congratulations. Yeah. All right, so you're building slowly. Yeah. When did the shark tank process start? So we, uh, we applied last uh, January. We heard back last February that they wanted to work with us. And we worked with their producers for about six months. About six, seven months. And they months. told us they really wanted us on there. So we worked with them. We practiced our pitch. And you then, too, how tough is that, that pitch? That I mean, you gotta was, walk in and nail tough. it. Yeah, we, and there's, it's <laughs> all real. So Everything cool. about Shark Tank you see is real. Like, they don't cut it. It's all in the moment. And so we, we practiced for a long time, morning and night, and we went we flew out to Los Angeles in September and we pitched the Sharks. Okay, so this yeah. is several months ago. This is like six, seven months ago. Yeah, you pitch, September. And yeah. what happens? I love that we well, can talk about yeah, it. Yeah, we can today. talk about it because now. Because it aired yeah. on Friday night, it so you can tell us yeah. like what shark. We got a deal! Yeah. <laughs> Congrats! Barbara Corcoran, she was the last shark that was left, and she believed in us. And uh, I'll get emotional if I talk about it too much, but she believed in us and she basically saw the vision and she said, I can help you make this a nationwide brand. And she invested. Um, we had to give a little bit more equity than we were wanting for on the show, but we were going for her, we wanted her, and she, uh, she wanted us back, so it was perfect. Jeremy, why yeah. emotional? Uh, it's just been a long five years of working so hard. We haven't really received any money to build this business and shoot it up super fast, so we went in a tent and then a trailer, now two storefronts, and just to be on Shark Tank, it was so hard, <laughs> and there's so many emotions, and to have her say, I'll make you an offer, I was like, this is the best thing in the world. This is a moment. Yeah. Okay, so that yeah. happened seven months ago, even though it just aired right here on ABC on Friday yeah. night. What happens in the last seven months once you get that offer? So, now she's our official partner. <laughs> yeah, so the the, the deal closed, us. and she's an actual owner of Crispy Gones. And we flew out to New York City. She helps us. She mentors us. She teaches us. She has this great yeah. team that also helps us. They connect with us on different things, help us in different areas of expertise. It's been Has awesome. it been a night and day difference? Oh, yeah. Yes. She, yes. she works with us super closely. Some people question, like, how close are they with, the, with their businesses? But Barbara Corcoran herself is a phenomenal human being who just connects so well with people. Yeah. And she asks us questions. We could call her up right now if we wanted. Like she just cares about the success of us and the business. All right, so. you two. So what is the plan? What's what's happening next with crispy cones? What have you come up with the with Barbara? The next is more store openings across yeah. the country. Um, one, especially in Utah, our Provo store opens in June. Okay, so we have one in Logan already. So, yep. yes. Provo opens in June. Yep. yep. And then Arizona in May, yeah. June as well. We've sold 11 franchise locations so far. And we, we plan on having 46 operating stores by the end of next year. You too, that's so, insane. Yeah, from a canopy tent. From Can a canopy tent <laughs> the to American that dream is real. Yeah. This yeah. is the dream, and this yeah. is just something you felt passionate about and didn't give up. 
Yeah. yeah. Didn't give up. And I almost gave up multiple times. And I'm so glad I didn't because we wouldn't be partners with Barbara. We wouldn't have gone on Shark Tank. It wouldn't you have wouldn't aired have nationally. We wouldn't have you met each have other. We wouldn't have a baby on the way. have a baby. Yeah, that's the most important part. <laughs> so <laughs> crazy. Lots of productions yeah. happening. Lots yes, of productions. Lots of stuff. Okay, really quick. We're almost out of time, but this is what you make these in. Yes. Explain what we're looking at here. So this is the rotisserie style grill. It opens up. Okay. And these cones cook at 475 degrees. Um, and like we said, they're not fried. The cones are except, like themselves are actually vegan. Lori on Shark Tank loved it. She said it was better than a croissant, better than any donut she's Can ever had. Can I take had. a little bite? Absolutely. Can I try this? There's, there's, there's cookie butter in there. Um, <laughs> oh, those are amazing. Yeah. Isn't that good? Yeah. <laughs> and then you stack it with ice cream. We, we fill yeah. it with gourmet so sauce or ice cream. Ice cream on top with toppings yeah. and then like... Nutella sauce. We rotate that flavor every week as well. Okay, so go try Crispy Combs, yeah. everybody. The <laughs> website's on your screen. They're also on social media. You get to buy four. There's one free. There's a loyalty yeah. program and all the infos at abc4.com slash GTU. But Caitlin and Jeremy, congrats. I love this. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Speaking of Dear Valley,